Ban on open grazing is counterproductive, Northern Elders declares. Hello, my wonderful people. We know that the Southern governors are counting down to the implementation of the ban on open grazing, as well as some Northern governors. They've also, and MS, they've also insist that open grazing, ban on open grazing is the way to go. They've seen what insecurity it has, is causing and how people, lives and property are being destroyed because um, the cows are very important, you see. So these are some of the things ongoing and it's rather very unfortunate. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Bound on open grazing is counterproductive, Northern Elders. The spokesman of the Northern Elder Forum, Hassan Baba Hamed, has said that the ban on open grazing by some state government is counterproductive and damaging to the nation's spirit of coexistence. The Northern Elder made the comment during an interview on Chinese television on Sunday politics. We are not against open grazing. We are in support of ranching. Domesticating cattle's modern way on which how both the cattle and the full animal can rest from his worrisome way by which it can be some way by which it can be done. What we are insisting on is the harsh way in which the government, the governors are sending out the signals to sign into law, ban on open grazing, is both counterproductive, very damaging to the spirit of coexistence as one Nigeria. When you hear governors say, we are on your own, find a way to protect yourself. You are then talking about anarchy. When you hear governor says you're on your own, find a way to protect yourself. You are then talking about anarchy. The more the states fall, fail to provide security to communities, the more communities become desperate, he stated. He noted, if there are roots and grazing reserve, they don't necessitate counterattack and this law against open grazing. Open grazing exists because there are no routes and reserves. The Fulanese, he added, roam around wherever he goes because he does not have access to what legitimately belongs to him. The Fulanese have nothing in Nigeria, nothing they can hold on to from the government and nothing the government has provided for any Fulani man. According to him, the Fulani issue should be treated with importance. It's not a southern issue, it is not a northern issue. It is a national issue. The Northern Elder State spokesman insists. He faulted President Muhammad Buhari and the state governors on the handling of the issue. His comment comes days after President Muhammad Buhari approved recommendation of a comment of a committee to review with desperate action the 368 grazing sites across 25 states in the country to determine the level of encroachment. Among other things, the committee recommended the production of maps, geo mapping, tagging of sites, and I analyzed the findings and reports perpetrated as well as designated communication in grazing reserves and opportunity. Clash between herders and farmers have lasted for years in Nigeria. The herders, mostly from the northern region of the country, move to the southern part to search for pastures for their livestock. Locals often accuse them of several crimes, including killing, kidnapping, and rape. But the headsmen deny wrongdoing, saying they are being targeted. Attempts by the government to resolve these very issues, however, have largely resulted in many accusations from the federal government and continues to spread. So northern elders are saying that President Muhammad Buhari is his fault that the things are the way they are. He has not done much for the people. He should do more for the people. He has not uh, given opportunity for the people to have uh, better, you know, that the, 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 the issue of uh, Fulani headsmen needs to be treated with care. And um, it's not a northern issue. It's not a southern issue. But the truth be told, what do we have? I mean, what's our stake in all this? Why are we being dragged, being pulled into all of this that is going on? It's rather very unfortunate that today people see cow more important that, than life, that they are insisting the level of encroachment here and there and all that. These are some of the things that are going on. 
You know, when you look at it, you begin to wonder truly to yourself, are we really in a country where there is decency, real law and order? Because the way the government is taking the cow business is quite, unf is, is very, is, is just, is mind blowing. You know, it's, it's, it's just unimaginable how things have gone. You see, so these are some of the things ongoing and um, we really got serious work at hand. We've got lots of things to really, you know, process at this point in time because Northern elders are saying that um, the Southern governors have no rights to be saying and there is a ban on, uh, you know, because, you know, the ban on Fulani headsmen roaming around with cattle is about to start and they are not joking about it. As a matter of fact, Governor Luro Temi Akere Dolo has reminded Southern governors that anyone who does not implement their open grazing ban is looking for trouble and you should get ready because the Fulanis are going to shred him and his state down. You know, sadly, some states in the, in the southeast are not prepared yet. Some states in the southeast are rather taking this, you know, with levity and not really taking it very seriously as it ought to be, with the level of seriousness that it should be, you know, with ultimate seriousness that we should be treated, you know. So these are some of the things ongoing. Because this Fulani headsmen, they encroach, they commit a lot of atrocities, and they make life very unbearable. And, I mean, people are going through a lot. Do you know how many people have been killed? Do you know how many lives have been destroyed? All because they want to give Fulani headsmen grazing sites. And I don't I don't know where this came from, that the federal government keep insisting that the Fulani headsmen, you know, they, they, they must have land in Nigeria. If they must have land, whose land is going to be taken and given to them? Whose land? Is it, whose fault is it that they don't have a land in Nigeria? Whose fault is it? That is to tell you that they are strangers. If they are really people who are here, they should get land, but because they are strangers, you know, and they've not made attempt to, you know, uh, buy lands, get the right documentation and get something for themselves. It has rather become a problem. And so other people are being seen as the one as fault. How is it Nigerians fault? And so their brother is taking it on himself to ensure that the full Anis gets a place on, before he leaves office. This is rather very sad, putting Nigerians in a difficult position. But continuous, you know, words on this, that this cannot happen, is the way forward. So Nigerians, we've all got a job on our hands. We've all got to speak out and not to allow, you know, this oppression that is about to happen to continue. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.